to be a challenge. Glenn Marshall's in the newsroom with more. Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. In just a year, Chicago has seen more than 13,000 migrants come to the city seeking a new life in the U.S. A year later, and we're still dealing with thousands living in the city shelters and police stations while the city is still trying to figure out how housing for those looking for sanctuary. With 365 days behind us since the first bus dropped off migrants in Chicago, living arrangements for asylum seekers is still a hot button issue. City leaders have professed Chicago to be a sanctuary city with more than 6,600 migrants living in shelters. According to the Office of Emergency Management, more than 2,000 asylum seekers are still in need of a place to stay, many still living in police stations and more than 300 finding refuge at the O'Hare Airport. And we know buses are still dropping off migrants. Just last night on the south side, High Park residents voiced their opinions on having 300 migrants use the Lakeshore Hotel as temporary housing starting tomorrow. Can we please make space for everyone else to talk? There are a lot of opinions in the room, and yelling and devolving into chaos isn't going to get us anything. Some believe the move was done without a chance to have a say in the decision, while others believe the migrants' issues are being placed over the black and brown community members who are in need. Be welcoming. You know, be, you're a sanctuary city. Remember that. You know, don't blame. Don't blame. People who have lost their homes, who, who've come here, don't blame politicians. It's just unfortunate that we can have resources for everyone. And as I understand, over 100 million, yet we have violence, but we have so much disinvestment in the black community and no elected officials really addressing those issues. So we do know that the city plans to use the hotel for only six months, but the city still hasn't released a plan for those sleeping at police stations. Back to you guys in the studio.